The year is 2008. Hit movie, Sex in the City, is one of the highest grossing films. Flip phones are still used on the regular, and Britney Spears makes a comeback for the ages with her hit album Circus. Also, did I forget to mention? This was the last time that the United States soccer team would ever qualify for an Olympic Games. 2012 London got destroyed by Canada and couldn't even make it out of the group stage. 2016 Brazil made it out of the group stage. That's a start, but lost to Honduras in the knockout round 2-0. And now, present day, the story is more or less the same. 2021 Tokyo, the United States again gets knocked out by Honduras 2-1. A cataclysm of epic proportions. Looking back on this failure, all the warning signs were there. But most of us weren't keen to it, including myself. Let's go game by game, minute by minute, and see how the major disappointment unfolded. The debacle started even before a ball was kicked. On March 12th, Jason Christ released the final Olympic roster. Immediately questions were being asked as soccer prodigies were left off of this list left and right. Those including Caden Clark, John Luca Busio, Cole Bassett, and James Sands, just to name a few. The squad looked incredibly bland and the midfield was swapped out with CDMs. Seems like Christ forgot that you have to score goals as well to win a game. Despite this, not all hope was lost at the time. Ulianez, a very creative player, was on the squad and he would be the catalyst to spark our attack. Also highly talented prospects such as Johnny Cardoso and Sam Vines were penciled onto the roster as well. We still got a great chance to win, we said to ourselves as a series of unfortunate events unfolded before our very own eyes. The first game of the tourney, we would face Costa Rica, a team that was a shadow of their former selves. Just mere hours before kickoff news broke, an injury that would change the course of this tournament. Our star attacker, Ulianez, suffered an ankle injury in training and would be replaced with Tanner Tessman. No shade to Tanner, but Uli is an objectively better player. This was a major blow to the squad. Who would step into Uli's cleats? Apparently, nobody. In the first game against Costa Rica, we had an alright start. Some chances here, and some chances there. Jesus Ferreira with a goal in the 35th minute. Things looked to be going good, until the boys came out of the locker room for that second half. Jesus Christ. What we saw here was something I've never seen before. We went from pros straight to schmoes in the snap of a goddamn finger. Costa Rica slapping us around, shot after shot, chance after chance, Ochoa having to stand on his goddamn head. This was hard to watch. N.S.F.W. material. Our team looked lost out there, and it was a miracle that it ended 1-0. Just look at these stats. We deserve to lose this game, but the soccer gods were looking out for us once again. In the second game, we played the Dominican Republic, a nation that puts soccer on the back burner and baseball on a pedestal. We don't know why. If we don't win this game, then we might as well disband as a team. Thankfully, we did reach victory, but at what cost? It took us a goddamn hour to score a goddamn goal against this weak amateur team. No disrespect. At one point, it seemed like we would never get one past the net, as again, we lacked creativity, a common theme in this Olympic qualifying tourney. We did end up winning the game 4-0, but looked like <coughs> shit in the process. Players like Johnny Cardoso and Sam Vines weren't fitting up to their billing. We looked trash, and heading into the Mexico game we knew would be worse. It was just a matter of how many. Mexico had the gun. Now, how many would they shoot? Thank God, they pitied us only to pull the trigger once. Atuda scored the lone goal right before halftime off of a horrible, horrible giveaway from Sebastian Soto. Not one player stood out this game, except David Ochoa, the only hero thus far in the tourney. Even Mexico played bad by Mexican standards, and they still easily put one past us. Our wins against Costa Rica and the Dominican Republic was luckily enough to get us through to the knockout stage, where we would face Honduras, a showdown for the ages. If we win, we're in. If we lose, we're out. No Tokyo for the States. I think you guys all know what happened. We lost. And we deserve to lose. You can't even blame Ochoa for his assist on Honduras' goal. He was the only reason we made it here in the first place. 14 shots to 8. 6 shots on target to 2. We just couldn't find the net. We played like trash, and Honduras was taking it out. Knocking us out of the Olympics. Our players sucked. So much, so let's roast all of them. So say though, has the stamina of a washed up middle aged man who still thinks he can make it pro. Jesus Ferreira has the finishing abilities of Timo Werner's physically handicapped cousin. Jonathan Lewis has the soccer IQ of roughly room temperature. Jackson Yule, you actually played alright and scored a banger. 
but for the rest of the game, had the mobility of Andrea Perlo's grandma. <laughs> Andreas Pereira, the only reason you were on that team was because you were a dual national. Hasami Dotson, you actually tricked us into thinking you were good. Good play on you. Sam Vines, you played good the first game. But after that, you spiraled into irrelevancy. <laughs> Mauricio Panetta, you just suck. Johnny Cardoso's prestigious playing career couldn't even hide from the fact that he was a human pylon. Benji Michelle, man, Benji Michelle. His confidence is shot. Same with his shot at getting called up ever again. And for the ones I left off this list, just know you didn't play all that good either. I just got lazy, as you guys did too. Okay, joking aside, this was inexcusable and should have never happened. The blame is on the team, but most of all, Jason Kreiss, who failed to light a fire under this team and inspire them to win. Since Jason left Real Salt Lake, he's been a failure. He's just a white boy with connects, as Josie Altador would put it. He was a dud at NYCFC, clown at Orlando, and the biggest major disappointments with the USA's U23s and in Bench King's major disappointment video series history. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content just like this, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you. We will see you next time.